Hi guys, welcome to episode 37 of On The Ball City. And in today's episode, we've got two crackers for you. We have a home tie in the league against West Ham. Hopefully three points will take us into fourth spot. And we have a first leg Europa League quarter final against Valencia at home. Can we get two victories today? Stay tuned to find out. But before we go into the episode, please make sure you hit that like button guys. Subscribe to the channel and click that notification bell to get notified every time we go live. So we're favourites in today's game and what should really be a victory for us. But on a couple of occasions this season we have not performed when we've needed to. And hopefully we can turn that around today. So West Ham kick off and they're passing it around nicely. But the way it's probably going to go in this game is that we are probably going to have the majority of position the majority of opportunities and we still need to be tight at the back as well which we normally are um, Brenner's just laid the ball off to Murphy Brenner now picks up the ball in the edge box looks for Barkley he's tackled a great goal um, by Barkley in the last game against Chelsea um, but they couldn't score on this occasion and I was just looking at Brenner's stats this season in the league he has scored 15 in 24 games a season last season he scored 17 and 28 so two goals in the next four games will um, put him on par with last season's league performance but he's been more of a all-rounder this season but we'll go back to that Hadara has just given Norwich a lead with an absolute spectacular volley on the edge of the box corner came in from Salai and Hadara Boom! Pick that one out. What a finish. Norwich lead 1-0. Now going back to Brenner, like I said, he's he's moving all around with the season. He's been very prolific, um, particularly in Europe. He's done very well there. And uh, he's also provided more assists this season as well. So, so he's warranted that um, Golden Boy Award that he recently won. And he's now on course for potentially winning, winning the English Premier League Young Player of the Season. So, let's do that one. So I want more goals. We have been the better team, but we need to start finishing. Riga is back from injury. He brings the ball forward. And Norwich are going to look to to press and try and get that early goal. Arsenal just conceded a goal. Taro Mings scoring against them. Uh, it's West Brom at one Arsenal won. Long ball by the goalkeeper. It's flicked down. Fernandez has it. Can Norwich win the ball back? Or will they get the ball in the box? They get the ball in the box and Perrin turns it away. The Tomba hits it here. And it goes out for a throw on. Taylor now. West Ham looking to create some chances. Arnautovic. Sergio. Switches the play. Looking for Townsend. Can he get the ball in the box? He does. Arnautovic is there. Plays it across. And Watkins is there. Ollie Watkins. Formerly of Brentford. And West Ham have equalised and a surprising turn of events and this is what happens when Norwich are not converting their chances and I think I'm going to have to switch this to more of a control we might need to make a sub as well West Brom have just taken a 2-1 lead Danny Ings with a goal there but Norwich really need to get a victory here today Tribal can come on for Lewis Cook Josh Murphy has been poor. He can go off for Santos. And Brunner has also been poor. Oliveira can come off for him. So can they get an important goal? Barkley. Hydera. Hydera to Barkley. Back to Hydera. Hydera. Running with the ball now. Looking for someone to make a move. No one's doing anything. He's going all on his own. And he's ended up losing the ball to Fernandez. Arnautovic on the ball now. And ooh, West Ham nearly got through there. But it was... Uh, it was blocked. Kera won the ball back and brought it forward. Santos on the ball now. Looking for Barkley. He finds him. He looks for Oliveira. He finds Santos. Can he get the ball in the box? He does. And Oliveira's put it over. And it's still won all. Norwich. 17 chances. They've only hit the target five times. They need to improve. Idera switches it to Latomba. Good ball to Salah. He whips the ball in. Santos has hit the post. Can you believe it? And it looks like... West Ham are going to earn themselves a surprise victory here. They're unbeaten in three games. But Norwich really needed to win this game. West Ham have only had four shots and hit the target twice. And with that, they've scored one goal. 
Late free kick whipped in. Denier and Marino with a save. Surely that is the last chance of the game. Marino hacks it clear. It's flicked down. Denier picks the ball back up. But he's lost the ball again. It's a long ball forward. But Kera wins it. And Perrin with a miss kick there. And it's gone out for a throw. Surely that is the end of the game. And it's going to be a one all draw. And a very disappointing result for Norris. But can they have one last chance? Perrin hits the ball long. It's that clear. Rika wins the ball back. But he's lost it to Townsend. Sergio Watkins. Can they get a late goal West Ham? And Perrin with another poor goal kick. And this is not what... Oh. Yeah, I'm gonna, I think it was probably my half-time team talk uh, that, that screwed it up. Um, did Liverpool, Liverpool have not played today, so I believe we have jumped into fourth, but we're only a point ahead of Liverpool. Liverpool have a game in hand over us now, so that is... That is a disappointing thing. Liverpool can now overtake us, and we need we need some luck again now. But have we got Liverpool? See, we've got a tough run in in the league now as well. Arsenal, Everton, Man City. Uh, we're gonna drop points. Who have Liverpool got? Let's have a look at their fixtures. Liverpool have got Brighton, Newcastle, Swansea. So my betting would be that Liverpool will finish in fourth place. And despite dropping down to fifth in the league after Liverpool have picked up victory, um, we could still qualify for the Champions League if we can win the Europa League. And we've now got a game at home to Valencia. It's the first leg of the quarterfinal. We made it to the semi-final last year. Can we do one better and get to that final? So this is the squad that I feel is strong enough to win it. We beat Valencia last year, so we should be able to do it again. But Perrin in goal, Latomba, Soyonku, Denia, Rika, Hydera, Tribal, Santos, Madison, Murphy and Brenner. So it's going to be a tough game. But Norwich have the ability to win this game. And especially after drawing with West Ham in their last game, they will want to put things right for their fans. Who come week in, week out to watch them play and Brenner... Couldn't win the ball there, and Bernard now picks it up for Valencia. He's lost the ball to Hydara. Good tackle there. Santos looking for Madison. No, he switches the play for Murphy instead. Murphy plays it to Madison now. Hydara. Hydara looking for Brenner. Brenner looking for the runner, Salai. He's tackled. So Salai's not on, Santos is on. Uh, Madison on the ball now. Looks for Santos for Hydara. Madison. Murphy looking for Brenner. Brenner's through. Brenner scores. And it's a fantastic finish by him. And Norwich lead 1-0. Four minutes into the game. Preferably, if they can, they will hopefully be looking to get um, a two or three gold margin to take into the away leg. Um, the away leg's always going to be tricky, especially if Valencia score here today. So Norwich will hope to keep a clean sheet as well. Let's see how they done. I can't remember the exact score last year, but I do know that we play Valencia and qualified. Um, Mina on the ball now, looking for Montoya. He whips it in, and it's turned out. I, f I swear, I swear when we played away to Valencia, I swear that's the game that we lost like 4-2, and then we won 3-0 at home or something like that, I think. I can't remember. I can't remember. But at the moment, we lead 1 0. 25 minutes gone. Rika has picked up a knock. And unfortunately, James' husband is not on the bench. So hopefully he can uh, run it off. It looks like he might have done. And Norwich have picked up the ball. Rika looking for Hydara. He looks for Santos. Madison. Brenner again is through and he's hit the bar. Could have been 2 0. Brenner. Really wants to get the uh, the young player of the season to add to his Golden Boy award. But Valencia have a corner. It's whipped in. Hit a clear by Denai. It looks like he's picked up a knock now. Santos now on the attack. Brenner switches play for Murphy. Murphy looking for Brenner. Brenner brings it forward. Brenner, can he whip the ball in? No, but he's been brought down. And Norwich have a penalty 
right on half time. He's going to step up and take it himself. Can he score to make it 2 0? He can. It was a fantastic penalty. Norwich lead 2 0. And that's his 29th goal of the season. And can Norwich hold on uh, to set themselves up for a second leg tie, which might see them go to the, the semi final of the Europa League for a second season running? So, good performance at half time. Uh, the last team talk I've done, I was quite negative. So, uh, uh, I'm still going to say. Don't get complacent, but last time I was like, well, you need to improve, even though they were playing well. So let's see what happens. Can we hold on? I might have to. I, I'm not got a sub for Rika, uh, but I'm going to bring on Kara for Denier because he's got a knock. Hopefully, he'll be okay for the next lot of games. Tribal switches the play looking for Murphy. Murphy, can he get the ball in? He does. Santos is there. Good save. Brenner really should have finished that off. It fell straight to his feet, but he couldn't get the ball out of his feet and, and tuck the ball away. So it's a throw now for Valencia. Leto plays it to Vezo. Perigio. Bernard. He's given the ball away though. Oh no, Rika. I, I thought Rika was going to win it. He didn't, but Norwich still have the ball. But they've given it away. And Torres now brings it forward for Valencia. Great tackle by Tribal. Kera. Hydara. Looking for Rika. Still has his knock, but he's, he's, he's powering through it. Good ball. Looking for Murphy. He whips it in. And Brenner's got his hat trick. Fantastic goal. And Norwich lead 3 0. And surely, surely we are into the semi final again. Because I think it's going to be tough. I think it's I think it's gonna to be tough. After after we threw away the result against um, West Ham, which is not the first game that we've thrown away and drawn when we should have won. And Murphy with a great goal, it's 4 0 and surely that is over now. Surely, surely, surely. And it might mean we can rest a few players for that game as well. Uh, but we're on fire at the moment. Doing superb. But yeah, after we threw it away, Liverpool now two points ahead of us. I can't see them dropping any more points. They've got some teams in the lower regions of the league, uh, whilst we've got three of the tougher, well, three of the toughest games that we potentially have in uh, Everton, Arsenal, or Man City. So we'll see what's going to happen. We'll see. But, uh, an injury for Santos. So. Uh, Hernandez is going to be coming on. Murphy has the ball. Hydara looking for Brenner. The ball's hat clear. Soronku picks it up. Nice and easy for them now. Perrin, long kick forward. Looking for Brenner. Brenner picks it up. Brenner's through. Brenner scores. A fourth goal for Brenner. A second assist of the season for Perrin. He's done that a couple of times this season. And Norwich lead 5-0 against Valencia. And who would have thought? Who would have thought? 5-0. Fantastic result. And we've done that last season as well, to be fair. We always, uh, although we tended to be away in most of the, the, the first legs, but we always tended to put on a, an amazing performance in the first leg that just, like, killed the game. So uh, it looks like we're doing that again. Puigio with the ball. Hits it long. Hydara has given away a penalty. So... Potentially an away goal for Valencia if they can score this. Perrin steps up. I think he saved the last penalty he faced. And he saved it again. Valencia don't have an away goal, which would have been a good advantage to uh, to have despite the scoreline. Hernandez on the ball now. Hernandez brings it forward. He's lost it. Hydara wins it back. Latomba, Hydara. Can Norwich get a sixth goal here? Tribal. Switches it. Oh, he's given the ball away there. Milner. Manir. Manir brings it forward. Manir, it's a good tackle for Sanku. Vizo on the ball now. He looks to bring it in. It's headed clear. Hernandez on the ball. 15 seconds before the whistle blows. Can he create something here? He's, he's running. He's still running. Oh. Jesus. An attack by a fly there. Hydara. 
Surely the whistle is going to go, and the whistle has gone. There we go then, guys. A fantastic result there. 5-0. Brenner with four goals. Surely, after, after that, he's surely going to get the top goal score award in the competition, and hopefully it can put us through into the semi-final. You know, Santos is out four to six months. Jesus. That is a big, big killer. Not so bad, Jason's out for two weeks. And if we use the doctor, it's only, only a week. And Rika out for a few days. So uh, a couple of injuries there despite the victory. And as you saw, Breno on form, four goals in the game. He's only 21 still, remember. And let's just see how many goals he's actually scored in the Europa League. He scored 11 goals in six appearances. He's already had Barcelona sniffing around a few times. Um, they haven't made any bids for him yet, though. Uh, but uh, 31 goals in 38 games so far this season for a 21-year-old. He's a fantastic... <laughs> fucking bastard. Where'd you come from? So I've got attacked by the fly again. So 31 goals in 38 appearances. Fantastic achievement, especially for a 21-year-old. Um... Barcelona will be sniffing around at some point. They already have, but they haven't made any bids yet. But um, he's only going to get better and better. Obviously, he needs two more goals in the next three games to equal his record from last season. But again, assists have been much better. A total of nine assists so far this season. So he's done superb. And let's see when our next game is going to be. So... It's going to be near the end of the season. I'm not going to set. I'm not going to say specifically who we're going to be playing in the next one. Because where the fuck are you coming from? Right, so I'm not going to say specifically which game we're going to come back for because it could all change depending on the Valencia result, depending who we're going to get in the semi-final. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to play a few games and then and then we will see what's happening in the Cups. So uh, maybe I will... Maybe, yeah, I, I, I don't know. I do not know, but it will probably be the second leg of the semi-final that we play and a league game. Uh, so, so stay tuned for that to find out who we're playing and if we can get to the final. So a fantastic performance there by the boys. 5-0 at home to Valencia. Surely we are in the semi-final of the Europa League for a second year running. And hopefully, if we can go all the way, and win the competition, we will definitely be in the Champions League next season, despite whatever happens in the Premier League. So we really need to push for that. Um, it's a Mourinho-style tactic. Just go just go for the cup win just to get into the Champions League. But um, with the fixtures that we've got and the fixtures that Liverpool have got, I'm gonna f I think it's going to be difficult for us to overtake them in the league after we... Uh, through points away in our last few games so thank you very much guys for watching it's been an absolute pleasure as always if you've liked the video please make sure you hit that big fat like button and subscribe to the channel as well if you've enjoyed it and click on the notification bell and you will be notified every time we go live so see you soon cheers guys